Alrighty, there is sound. Let's watch us the full first. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. These are not the cookies, right? Okay, I ordered Oreos. All right, I've, I've been working so hard keeping everything together, baby, and I can't even get the cookies that I want. S sweetheart, they, they look the same. They are not the same! Okay, all the uh but all right, all right, let's go with this first one. Let me just bring this up a bit here. But we let her live because that's what. But we let her live. Okay, there's some technical things here and there. I think generally, I don't know if you're going to render this. I'll be careful with too many lines going on here where we start to lose the silhouette. I'll probably take this out and take this chair away and just have one. We're starting to have tangents and just kind of a lot of like, busy backgrounds. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. Now, from a technical point of view, watch out your elbow on the right. But we let her live. Right there. It's a bit of a fast move that for a moment has this going down and this going up almost in sync. Let her live. So watch out. And it's almost kind of stopping at the same time too. So watch out how much you are bringing the arm down plus the shoulder and then the chest and the head. I like that it's all connected. I like that this goes down and the rest is influenced. But it's a bit but we let her live just a bit strong there but but we let her live and for but for the but i think this is very subjective but to me it's like that thought has already been formed in there that he wants to say but and right now it's just kind of stuck in that pose and goes but but and you could do something where he goes and he's already compressing the lips and then maybe two, three frames earlier, that chin would already go down while the lips are still closed. It's kind of, but, like he's already mouthing it and then the mouth opens, like the lips separate for the but. But we let her, but we let her. And I don't think you need to go back into a close. It has a bit of a default feeling whenever a word is being spoken afterwards that the mouth goes back to close. You can do, but, but we let her, we let her, There's like, but, and then you stay maybe within like this range, half of that. We, but we let her live. We let her live. You know, it could be but and that open. We let her live, and then you really go when you move that, which you have here. We let so imagine you're going from a somewhat open between these two frames into this, but it, this is more like having a straw in there, like a whistle versus we we. I don't know if you have to go that strong. It could almost be here. We let her live because that. Same thing here. We let her live. Because we let her live because, and to me, it feels more like we let her live. Hold on, let's do some scrubbing here. Like there's no need to close that. I don't. Know, this might be subjective, but I just be careful in terms of always going back into this kind of default close. Because that's what heroes do. They show. I don't mind here because he made a point. So heroes do. They show mercy. Peace. And even here at the end, mercy. And kind of within this range, I would stay. Turn that scrubbing off. Instead of going back into a close. Like, that's my main thing for the mouth. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. I do like your accents, though, especially here. They show mercy. I like that a lot. But we let her live. Every now and then it's a bit IK. I see like a lot of movement in the body and this going back. And then you can see here, this is completely frozen. I mean, you know, there might be some pixel movement, but it's fairly frozen. Even on that pullback here, like on something like this, it just feels like a translate in his arm versus a little bit of move in and a bit of slight rotation over with the wrist. It's giving this a bit more complexity there. Better live because that's what heroes do. And maybe here. That's what heroes do. Do, it like gets a lot more tense. Do, and at that point, you can maybe go back in with the fingers a little bit, tense the cup holding here a little bit. Not like a squeeze, but you want to feel like this fans out and it still has an influence everywhere. Like shoulders or elbows can go in a little bit. Because that's what heroes do. Just a bit. Show mercy. And then that way you have a release when you do this, right? And then you can open this up a bit. You can almost relax that pinky here a little bit. Show mercy. But we let her live because that's what heroes do. They show mercy. The only thing I would say is it's almost a bit of a default. I know that I see the eyebrow higher here, but it's almost like a default expression. Like when he says, do. 
They show mercy. They show mercy. Like, how does he feel when he says that? Like, what's if if you say they show mercy? How is he? You know, is he just teaching? Is he condescending? Is he forceful? Is he disappointed in having to say this? Like, what is he really thinking as he says this? And what is the face telling us in that aspect? Like, this feels a bit too default and almost neutral. I'm not quite sure what he feels right there. This is almost like pity, neutral pity almost. And then I'd be careful. I know there's there's good stuff there in terms of movement, how you go from this, right, to this. Uh, there's good stuff there. But he does have a general, I'm always leaning against this. And I wonder, it is very subjective, but I wonder, if, is there a point where he says all of this, right? Would it be something where... I was almost, almost going to say he ends with this, right? Imagine he starts like this, he's in his lecturing mode. But then imagine he would say, they show mercy. And he wants to teach, he wants to be friendly, he wants to engage with whoever is in front of him. Then he would almost end in this position because he's closer, right? Arms are closer, the body is closer to the person he's engaging. And then now he disengages. I don't know, like, I would think in those terms as well. I don't know how far, I don't want to dictate your acting. Like, you got to you gotta tell me what you want to have him come across as i don't know if that was english or what i just said but you know is he he's straight leaning not leaning forward it's fairly straight and then he leans back why like why do you want him to do that and why do you keep him that way is is that okay do you want that distance do you want that further distance from who is he talking to and so on um i would think about that but before i go more into this i don't want to know what you think so you can always email about this and then i can give you some more pointers and the biggest thing for this shot are not the cookies, right? Okay. The voice in him is eh, 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 eh. he has a lot of energy. There's a lot of stuff happening. But if I turn over the sound, there's some accents with the hands, right? But then he is more like, okay, all right, do this, do that, yeah. But if you listen to what is he saying here? I've been working so hard, keeping everything together, baby. And I know he says, I'm trying to keep everything together. Maybe that's why you want him so tense while he explodes internally. I'm not saying he has to do some crazy gestures, but I would amp up a bit more in terms of like this line to here, like some more head accents where it's like you want to feel the tension. Basically, what, what I'm hearing in the voice is he's about to explode and he's trying to contain this. And looking at the animation, it almost feels a bit too clean. There are some accents every now and then, but then to me, it's more like... Okay, he's just forceful about something, but I don't feel the the tremor. It's almost like it has already exploded and the shockwave is now going through his body and he's trying to keep that in. He's trying to keep that shockwave in, but he's already exploded. Like that's kind of how I see that part. So like doing something like this right there, when I just play this without sound, this is more like, okay, do you want this or not? Like this is more like a threatening, creepy thing versus... Let's go back to the audio. Working so hard, keeping everything. See, that to me just feels like there should be tremors. He's, he's shaking. Again, not crazy overactive, but there's, there's an overall layer of tremors of I already exploded internally and I just I don't wanna I don't wanna kill this person. I just ah! and then that's the thing, that last comment. They are not the same! Okay. All the that's okay, because now he does explode. Sweetheart, they, they look the same. And for her, it's a bit... I like that she has that slight lean over where visually she gets closer to the person, but I think she wants to help him, maybe. Yeah, they're kind of the same. Like she's not making fun of him or anything. So I think I would push that where I would have her lean forward or take a step forward a bit more to kind of close that gap, just a little empathy change there in terms of distance, and then loosen up the whole thing. If you just watch her... I see mostly movement in the jaw and a drift in the body here. Let's play this again. Watch this line. She's just kind of drifting. It doesn't feel like she's saying something with with like a, a lean forward with head accents that come through because of the energy and the voice and what the jaw is, is doing. It feels very, very isolated in here with a drift. So I would think in terms of if she's like this, would she then open up her arm? Would she let go of this? And like, how would you... Not not to force animation into this, but could you potentially have a post change? So it's not just this. 
something maybe a slightly bigger. This is to me more like a pose and a sub pose. Is there something maybe slightly bigger? And to me, it could just be maybe you keep all this, but you do take a step forward or she brings that arm down and maybe relaxes this arm out into the open with a step forward or maybe a lean forward. Like something where like, I want to help you get through this. And of course, he misunderstands because he's already raging and he already exploded. If that makes sense. I don't know. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm curious how that works for you, that type of feedback. And if you want to take that and run with it or you want to give me some more information about what you're intending to do with them and then I can give you more pointers and be more more specific. Again, to me, it's always, I want to I wanna avoid dictating acting choices because it's, then it's not your shot anymore, if that makes sense. All righty? I'll leave it at that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.